Recently, we've seen lots of money being poured into content for devices like Cardboard, Oculus Rift, Daydream, and more. 2016 is projected to be the first billion dollar year for the immersion industry, with over 43 million active VR users. YouTube is leading the way in democratizing this technology by enabling 360 video on the platform and even has a dedicated channel showcasing 360 content, with over 1.7 million subscribers and climbing. Clearly, there is excitement, but we're still learning how to tell stories in VR environments. While there is no formula, here are three basics to keep in mind. One, place environments at the epicenter. In an immersive experience, where you are is just as important as what you do. In YouTube's Halloween prank, Snoopavision, you're right next to Snoop and his friends watching videos together. Not only are you able to watch the YouTube video playing at the theater, but you also get the full experience of everyone's reactions. Two, think spatially. Traditional video content exists in front of you, but now we are surrounded by it. Elements like directional audio cues can alert us to parts of the story happening outside our field of view. A great example is Dimension Gate's horror series. Here's a link for you to check it out, if you dare. Three, story making will be in the hands of the user. Embrace it. Move people from passive viewing to participants. Normally, a director chooses every shot you see, but here you are essentially giving control to the audience. In the Google Spotlight story Pearl, you're sitting in a car, traveling with the characters along the road of life. You choose where you look, picking up pieces of the story as it unfolds around you. The gaps in the narrative invite you to mix in your own experiences, creating a powerful emotional response. It's great that so many people are embracing 360 immersion, but you can't just add a layer of technology and expect it to be successful. It requires a more nuanced interplay between the story and the technology. Ask yourself, what story can only be told through 360? Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.